Section 93 of Five Minute Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Z. Martine. Five Minute Stories by Laura E. Richards. The Inquisitive Ducks. Once upon a time there were some children, and once upon a time there were some ducks. It was upon the same time, too, and they all lived together in one house. That was funny, wasn't it? And there were two reasons for it. In the first place, it was so cold where they lived that the ducks could not stay out of doors except in summer. And in the second place, the good man of the house, the children's father, was so poor that he could not afford to have a separate house for the ducks. Indeed, there were only three rooms in the house. One was the kitchen, which was parlor and dining room and sitting room as well, and one was the children's room, and the third was the parents' room. So there they all lived together, and they were very sociable. The names of the children were Greta, Mina, Lisa, Carl, and Baby Fritz. The names of the ducks were Redtop, Waggletail, Gobbler, and Spottletoe. And the children were all good, but the ducks were all naughty, as you shall hear. The father had made a nice wooden box for the ducks, and this was always filled with hay and kept beside the great porcelain stove in winter, so that the pets might be warm. But were they grateful for this kindness? Not a bit of it. They were always getting out of their box and poking their bills into all sorts of places where they had no business to be. You might find Waggletail inside the mother's Sunday cap and Gobbler tasting the soup on the table, and Redtop and Spottletoe pulling the baby's doll to pieces. These were things that happened every day. And indeed, what else can be expected when one keeps one's ducks in the kitchen? But one day, something very much worse than all this came. The mother was ill, so ill that she was obliged to stay in bed and send for the doctor, and that was something very unusual. The doctor came and gave her a box of pills, telling her to take one pill every day until she was better. He told her to put her feet in a hot mustard bath, as that would draw the pain down from her head, and he patted the children, and mounting his old gray pony, rode away again. Well, the mother took her pill, and then closed her eyes for a short nap, laying the pill box down on the low stool beside the bed. Presently, Greta, the eldest daughter, came in with a hot foot bath, and seeing her mother asleep, set it down softly and went out again to get the warm shawl that the good woman would need when she sat up. Now it happened that she left the door open, and as this was what the four ducks had been waiting for all day, they immediately waddled into the mother's room. Poking about in their usual way, they soon found the box of pills, and supposing them to be something particularly nice, they gobbled them all up in the twinkling of an eye. Now you know that pills are not apt to be nice, and these pills were very particularly nasty, as the ducks soon found out. "'What's this?' said Gobbler. "'Ugh! Quack! Ugh! What is it?' exclaimed Redtop. Waggletail had swallowed four pills, and his feelings were too deep for words. His one thought was, "'Something to drink!' And seeing the foot-bath, he plunged his bill in and took a good draught of the hot mustard and water. Oh, then what a clamour arose! The other ducks had hastened to follow his example— and now they were all screaming and sputtering and flapping their wings in a way that was dreadful to hear. The poor mother woke up in a fright. Greta and all the children came rushing in, followed by the dog. Finally the father came in, armed with a heavy stick, and the terrified ducks were driven out of doors, where they sat, shivering, on the doorstep, declaring that they would never eat or drink anything again. End of The Inquisitive Ducks